This video is intended to be an instructional source for Multisim 12 rotating and changing component settings. Shown above are three of the more commonly used parts in Multisim in a DE class. The first of which is the SPDT switch, the DC power source, also known as a battery, and then the resistor. For any component that you choose in Multisim, each part can be given some additional properties and or settings that you can change. So if I click on this part and then right click with my mouse, I go down to the properties menu and pull up a little menu which shows me what I can do with it. On the top, each tab indicates a value that I can change within that part. RefDes refers to the name of the part here. So let's say that I wanted to give this part a particular name. If I'm building a car buzzer circuit for the DE curriculum, this might be key. Additionally, I can also change the key which indicates how I can change or flip the switch by the value tab. The key for toggle is simply a space or any letter on the keyboard and or number. I simply start with, let's say, the letter A and hit all right. Notice that the information on my switch has changed to both label the key and the key that is used to actually flip the switch. So now if I press A on my keyboard, I can now toggle the switch back and forth. If I'd like to rotate the part, I can also right click on the part itself and it can be flipped horizontally, vertically, rotated 90 degrees clockwise, or counterclockwise. So if, for example, I'd like to rotate my part around, let's say I flip it vertically, notice that my key has flipped over. The switch now goes in a, an up-down direction in a slightly different arrangement. I can also flip it back and forth by simply flipping horizontally as well. The key still works. The direction of the switch has changed. For DC power source, if I click on the battery itself, right click, pull up my properties. I can adjust a little bit more information such as my voltage, which I can change to any voltage source I like, or I can change some additional values, but typically voltage is the only thing we adjust here. You can also adjust the label for this value as well, although leaving it V1 for voltage seems fine. Resistor values can also be changed. The resistance is the second option here. Please be careful when changing your values. Resistance of this resistor in standard form is typically one kilo ohm. I can also change the prefix and unit here on the right by simply clicking up or down, simply ohms, kilo, mega, giga, and so on. Values go both above and below the standard unit. The value here can be typed using your keyboard. I want a 220 giga ohm or ohm resistor, more practical, and hit OK. Notice my value has changed as well. Notice at the bottom, if you do not see the rotate options when you right click, click on the part once to highlight it and then go up to the edit menu above to find the options there. Any additional questions about rotating and or changing settings on any parts, please ask. Additionally, one last point that I can add on to correcting values in your parts is if you cannot right click or have trouble right clicking and finding the properties option, you can always double click on your part and get the same menus that you saw before. Other than that, any questions, please follow through.